Hey everyone, it's Vinny, and now that we are officially done with the 2023 Kentucky Derby preps, I am here to go over my top few prep races of the year. There have been 32 Kentucky Derby preps in 2023. Obviously, some are better than others, so I'm going to go over my top three. Uh, these are the three races that I thought that the winner just looked much the best, and I think will have have a good impact on this year's Kentucky Derby. Uh, a couple of honorable mentions that just missed my list since I'm only doing a top three are the Risen Star Stakes that was won by Angel of Empire for Brad Cox and the Louisiana Derby won by the other other Todd Fletcher horse, Kings Barnes. So with that, number three on my list is actually the Jeff Ruby Stakes. I know that back-to-back -back derby winners coming from the Jeff Ruby would be absolutely crazy. But go back and watch this replay if you haven't already or aren't familiar with how good two fills look to this day. He was outside the entire way. He broke from post 10. And when they turned for home, there was just no doubt about who was winning. And he showed a very big turn of foot that a lot of the horses in this crop, in my opinion, haven't shown before. We have a lot of grinders. He showed a, he showed some explosiveness there in the stretch, and that can be very dangerous on Derby Day. He's going to be overlooked because of some of the others and because he's coming from Turfway, but he does have the highest buyer speed figure of any three-year-old coming into the Kentucky Derby uh, with a 101, which I mean, that's not a that's definitely not a number to just disregard. So again, I think the Jeff Ruby was one of the top three prep races this year. I know there wasn't much else in there, but it was how two fills won and not about who he beat. So definitely go back and look at that if you haven't already. The second race on my list is kind of a tandem because I really couldn't tell them apart. Uh, and that is the Tampa Bay Derby and Bluegrass Stakes. I... Uh, won both by Tappet Trice. I went into this not really. I went back and watched all the replays from all the preps this year, and I know live I was not super thrilled with Tappet Trice, but after watching these replays again, he's the real deal. He's kept... Both races are very similar. The only real difference, in my opinion, was that he, he missed the break in the Tampa Bay Derby, and he did not in the Bluegrass. But both races, after the break, he's kept wide. He goes five wide around the turn for home. And he just grinds his way to wins. Uh, he looks very good. Uh, the Bluegrass obviously had more Kentucky Derby, other Kentucky Derby starters than the Tampa Bay Derby did. But the Tampa Bay Derby did have the eventual Wood Memorial winner in Lord Miles uh, in total. Uh, Tappet Trice has beaten five, so he's beaten a quarter of the horses in the Kentucky Derby already if the field remains what it is today. Uh, personally, I don't really want anything else out of these two races. I really only want Tappet Trice. Uh, I like that he didn't have perfect trips in either race. He showed, he showed the ability to overcome uh, obstacles by having wide trips and missing the break and still winning. Uh, it's very rare that a horse gets a, an absolutely perfect trip in the Derby. So the fact that he hasn't won with a perfect trip is uh, is a plus. Now, negative is that usually horses like him that like to sit a little farther back don't always end up getting there. So is a negative on him. But either way, I still think that these two races are, are were very good. And that's why I have both the Tappet Trice's prep wins this year at number two. My number one, though, is the Florida Derby, and I know there was a timing issue. I know Forte's buyer was downgraded from a 98 to a 95. But what Forte did go in a mile and an eighth at Gulfstream Park, coming from off the pace after breaking from a wide post, is just something that's not done. Uh, since 2006, there's been 14 Florida Derbies run with at least nine runners. There's only been three winners. Barbro in 2006, Big Brown in 2008, and now Forte in 2023. Both Barbro and Big Brown went on to win the Derby, but even when they won the Florida Derby, they were both right on the lead. Uh, Big Brown went gate to wire, just was much the best, and Barbro was on, was never more than two lengths back at any point in that race. Uh, in just the 
clarify of how hard it actually is to come from those outside posts. Besides those three, there have been 30 other starters who have started in posts 9, 10, 11, or 12 uh, in the Florida Derby since 06. They, are a com they have a combined record of one place finish, which was upstart back in 2015, and they have three third place finishes with Gunavera, Mississippi, and Code of Honor. So I, we're 14 races and only four horses have hit the board or finished in the money out of out of those outside posts. I, it's just something that's not done. Golf, the outside posts at Gulfstream have never been great. Uh, you can even look into the stats of the older horses running this mile and an eighth distance uh, at Gulfstream Park, breaking from the wide posts. Horses like California Chrome, Cyberknife, even earlier this year couldn't overcome those wide posts to run to run spectacular. So I know the buyer is low for Forte, and I know that's kind of off-putting for some people, but that effort is just something that we haven't seen before at Gulfstream Park. And for that reason, he is, the Florida Derby this year was my top prep. I still think it's the most impressive prep, and I think Forte should be every bit of the favorite heading into the Kentucky Derby. Now, obviously, my selections will eventually be based on all the information with the post positions, like where the speed draws and everything like that. But as of now, I those are those are my top three with uh, Forte, Tapatrice, and two Phils. I think all three have a very big shot to win, and all three are coming in off of huge efforts. So I would recommend going back and watch the replays before we get to the Kentucky Derby. We're still a few weeks away. So best of luck, and I will be back next week. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.